I've been getting a lot of questions from people uh, whenever I make a video about land in northern Uganda and in Uganda in general. Um, as someone who has been helping people buy land and rent land for different purposes, I've been able to experience quite a lot and uh, I do know the process that you need to follow while acquiring a land in Uganda and this can be maybe when you want to buy or when you want to rent. So in today's video I want to bring to you some of the important points, the important things you need to consider when you want to rent a land in northern Uganda which is my region or in Uganda in general because I believe this thing actually applies to most of the areas in Uganda, just that there could be, you know, a few, few, few changes depending on the region and the location. So, uh, the number one thing that if you are someone who wants to come to Uganda or come to northern Uganda and you want to rent the land, for example, let's say you want to rent the land for farming or for any other purpose uh, one thing you need to consider is um, the land title in most cases uh, some people can to avoid uh, any other issue in the future make sure you are renting a land from someone who has the land title from the person or if the land title is not there you need to make sure that if you're renting maybe from uh, from like a uh, family member, uh, you need to make sure that they have all agreed, they have all accepted that, you know, they are giving you the land to rent for maybe a specific period of time, let's say for two years or for five years, for example. That is very important because it will help you to avoid any other future drama or any other future stories and that's very important something you need to consider secondly uh, what you need to consider when you want to rent a land in Uganda uh, you need to actually consider the price uh, one thing I know very well here most people uh, especially if it's in the rural areas uh, we most people this side they rent their land in northern Uganda they give their land at 100,000 Uganda shilling per acre per season or uh, okay I mean for 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 one full year so because in a year we probably have about two or three seasons actually here the third thing that you need to consider is uh, you need to, if need be, depending on the purpose why you want to rent the land, uh, you need to actually know the type of land. And if, if need be to bring a surveyor to survey the land, uh, that would actually be good. Because, uh, you know, it would be a little disappointing. Maybe you want to, to get the land for farming or to plant a certain types of crops. And now again... Maybe the land does not match with the kind of crops that you want. Uh, let's assume the land might be rocky or it's having a lot of stones, something like that. So if need be, you can actually do the survey of the land so that you can get to know the type of land that you are renting before putting in your money. And lastly for today, uh, before renting a land, you need to actually find out the type of land because we do have different types of land ownership in Uganda and I've actually talked about it in one of my videos. You can just check out my previous video then you'll, you'll get to understand. Uh, I'm also trying to partner with someone who will want to bring you more details about land and very soon we'll be having him on the channel so you need to find out the types of land before putting in your money because the, the type of land ownership is it uh, maybe 
owned by an individual? Is it owned by a family member? Was the land given to the person or did the person buy it? Something like that. That's actually very important. You need to consider. Otherwise, you may put in your money and, uh, you know, again in the future, people come and start disturbing you. But again, and above all, the last thing before I end this video that you need to know, if you are not familiar with a certain area, or if you're not from Uganda, or you're coming from a different region and you're not familiar with people, make sure that you get someone from that location that you trust. Uh, let's assume you're coming to northern Uganda and you want to get a land and you don't know anyone here. Of course, I cannot guarantee you that everyone are good. Uh, sometimes there are other bad people also. So you need to make sure you get someone you trust. Personally, I've had people who have reached out to me. I've helped many people to rent land, even to buy. And uh, if you need any help with getting a land or acquiring land right here in Uganda or in northern Uganda, to be specific, because that is my region, you can just contact me. I always leave my number in the description. Then I'll be happy to help you and of course those are the things that you need to know when renting a land in Uganda or in northern Uganda for today we're going to end here keep on following me I'm going to bring to you more videos I'll see you in my next video